Yeah. Market it to people like Russell Crowe. You bet. Movie stars, politicians, executives, corporations, people who have the passion for beauty. Look at this. You can look at this. It's totally breathtaking. How You take one look at it and think, wow, if I got plenty of money to spend, why not come to one of the creme de la cremes uh, of the U.S.? And Homer is the creme de la creme. You know, it, it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to have to classify this video now. Well, I mean, I tell you, you know, people have a passion for beauty, and Homer is a very beautiful place. It'd be exciting to find out what kind of interesting people you can bring to Homer through showing them the beauty of the, of the landscape and the uh, shores through your cabin, through, the, through your boat, through your train, through your homes. What an awesome opportunity. You know, and it'd be exciting to bring people. They're going to come here for some kind of refuge from Hollywood, California. They They're going to go hide from the corruption and come over here and relax and get their peace of mind again because they lost, lost it by selling their souls to the movie industry. <laughs> They'd probably get a kick out of seeing the Eagles, too. You know? they... Oh, they would get a kick out of seeing a lot. Yeah. And they, too, can be forgiven. Absolutely. <laughs> Amen. And say the name of this place again. Oh, right? yeah. Alaska. Alaska Adventure Cabins. Alaska Adventure Cabins. In I Homer, Alaska. What a beautiful view. Look at that spin. It's yeah. absolutely extraordinary. Oh, it changes every day. It's incredible. You know, whether you're seeing a rainbow. Oh, look. There's a boat landing. I don't know, a ship landing at the uh, airport. Yeah. We have an airport here in Homer. Homer Spit. You can go fishing for the day or you can fly out viewing for the day and come back to your wonderful lodge to stay in with the incredible view over the water, you know. We're close to the edge here in Alaska because if you go beyond here, you're remote. And so that, I've been out there a few times and that's pretty incredible. But this is about as close as you can get, you know. If you go, yeah. go past here, you're out there truly in nature. Or just somebody put their spirited vision into this whole, whole setup here. So obviously they uh, they sowed sowed the seed of their passion. Yeah. It's absolutely gorgeous. Well, all we not need now is what a Tesla generator. Tesla generator. Yeah. We we, we need to provide energy for each one of them without off the government grid, so we don't have to worry about the things go down. We got fully operational cabins here. Well, we are getting a gas line here next year, and that'll reduce the energy consumption quite a bit, but. Anyway, in the meantime, actually inside the bear's den, check out that video, the timber frame there with the propane fireplace and the solar heat. It does pretty good, but absolutely beautiful. There are ways to decrease our ecological footprint. One of these days we'll get it all figured out. <laughs> so what else are you gonna put in here? A zip line. Oh yeah, the zip line in the uh zip line down. We need a, a jungle bridge so that we can film the northern Tarzan version. <laughs> <laughs> a jungle bridge to go over the ravine. Yeah. Absolutely cool. Yeah, because yep. there Tarzan filmed a lot of movies, but we still have not seen the version of Tarzan Goes to Alaska. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next movie yeah, for yeah, Hollywood. And the owners owners got the kindred spirit of Johnny Weissmuller, <laughs> and also Mark Spitz, because he's a passionate swimmer as it is. Oh, yeah. Right. Implement it, implement the, the Tarzan routine. There's a lot of things that can be done with this. But he's already done it very creatively. It's already beautiful as it is. Signing oh, off. Gorgeous.